Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, The Silver Fox. There are rumours abound about cash in envelopes being handed out to SNP members quite, you know, quite open and freely. Uh, but nobody is surprised when they hear that the fact that the SNP may be corrupt. You know, it's not exactly breaking news, is it? Uh, it's the fact, I suppose, is that it's so out in the open and so sort of not hidden, not, you know, in a darkened corner somewhere. But it's, uh, it's, it's the story's taking an interesting turn because it turns out that not only is this happening, but the businessman in question, the one who's doling out these, uh, these fun, these fun-sized envelopes, uh, is a personal friend and seen regularly with Hamza Yousaf. It makes you wonder, doesn't it? It makes you wonder. Certainly, the question that can be asked is how many envelopes has Hamza Yousaf had, and what's in them? Because it is, it turns out, quite extensive amounts of cash. We're not talking thirty, forty pound here. We're talking a lot of money. So it would be very surprising if someone who was handing out cash on a very free basis like that wasn't handing it out to someone with whom he spends a lot of time. I'm not saying he has, of course, that would be quite wrong. But it just seems very suspect and it seems hard to believe if someone said he probably hasn't. So we'll take a look at this story uh, to see why the SNP is still mired in uh, sleaze up to its armpits um, and then see if uh, if Hamza Yousaf is in implicated in any way. Seems odd, doesn't it? Let's have a look. Here goes. So Hamza Yousaf is friends with cash envelopes businessman in fraud probe claims insider. The First Minister is said to have been publicly friendly with the businessman at the centre of more controversial revelations from the Police Scotland SNP money probe. When someone is going around and handing out big envelopes filled with cash to politicians, you know that there is no good coming out of that. There is obviously corruption. Somebody wants something done. You know, you don't uh, you don't do this out of the simple goodness of your heart. You expect a bit of quid pro quo, don't you? So Hamza Youssef has close links to the business and the businessman behind the cash in envelopes reveals a source close to the SNP. I love that term. A source close to the SNP means someone who's quite high in the ranks and who probably doesn't like Hamza Youssef. I wonder who that could be. But then there's quite a few, isn't there? Uh, a businessman who is a relative of one of the party MPs is claimed to be friends with the First Minister and according to sources quoted in the Mail on Sunday, the pair have been spotted together at a number of social gatherings. Is that friends as in like Philip Schofield's friends and you know, together at a number of social gatherings like Philip Co Sp Co Schofield and his friend, do you think? Is that possible? Who knows? Uh, this follows revelations that Police Scotland are investigating allegations that SNP officials accepted cash-filled envelopes from the MP's relative. Now, I'm going to suggest that that is entirely believable. Um, I, I don't have a problem in believing that this is actually happening. I think it is a kind of yeah, standard fare for the, for the uh, SNP. I don't sit there and go, no, surely they wouldn't do that, would they? That would be completely the other thing. Uh, the claims come from a whistleblower and reveal that senior figures took substantial gifts but failed to publish the details in line with election laws. Uh, and the, the source who's close to the SNP said, it is well known that the businessman at the centre of these allegations is friendly with Hamza Youssef. They have known each other for quite a long time and have been seen chatting on many occasions at social gatherings. I would say they are friends. Now all you need to do is go back onto these social gatherings now, get the old uh, get the old pictures out and you can work out who this is I think. Uh, anyway, the cash sums are said to be in the ranges of tens of thousands of pounds. You're not giving that away for little things. That is big influence, that's big purchase, that's changes of law, that's permissions, that's or indulgences, isn't it? That's all sorts of things like that. Uh, and Police Scotland, along with the Lord Advocate, the country's chief prosecutor and member 
of the cabinet and the same government that she's supposed to be investigating. So no conflict of interest there. Um, have all been sent all, all the details. There is no suggestion in the whistleblower's letter that Mr Yousaf is one of the SNP officials who accepted cash in envelopes. There is no suggestion, of course, that he isn't. Police Scotland have said it is still assessing the contents of the whistle whistleblower's letter. Police, as part of the Operation Brassroom, are already probing separate allegations of fraud in relation to the misuse of the 600,000, uh, which we've covered a million times. Now, the, the Mail on Sunday says the letter sent to the police says... I have been informed from former SNP members that they are aware of his donations and they are shocked that he is not a registered donor to the SNP. It goes on. My duty to, is to disclose this information to assist your investigation and for public interest. It would be an injustice not to inform you of this information. That's someone with a very, very large axe to grind. That's someone whose gears have ground and he or she wants to uh, to drop them all in it, to get it out there, uh, and to watch them, I, I suppose, watch them implode as the truth comes out. Because it will be, it won't be the lies that are the undoing of the SNP. It will be the truth. It will be the truth that destroys them. Uh, the letter names the businessman and the politician they're related to, as well as SNP figures, said to be aware of the donations. Details also include the timings of the donations. The MO say, uh, the Man of Sunday states the party has not listed any donations from the businessman. And under electoral rules, any donation over £500 must be declared, with the failure to do so being a criminal act. Uh, and so they know who he is, they know how much he's giving, and they know it hasn't been declared. That is a criminal act. The police must investigate um, and then they must arrest and they must question under oath a lot of people. This would this would be the th this will be the straw that breaks them because not everyone is going to be going, actually, you know, I'm not prepared to take the risk. Let me tell you the truth. Speaks to solicitor, solicitor cuts deal uh, and then the truth comes out and then they are all, all sunk. It will be cracking to see. So this is a story I think that will run. Um, a lot further. I think this has got more to go and I think there will be immense repercussions over that. Anyway, I'm going to finish this bit here and come up and then we'll end off the video. So, here we go. Yeah, so I think over the next sort of weeks and possibly months, uh, as more and more comes out, we will, I think, eventually find the name of the businessman, the the, uh, the SNP member that he's related to. Um, I think the, the, the revelations will come out as to how much money has been given and to whom. I think there's going to be a lot of them. I mean, not all of them. It's not going to be that big. But I mean, you're probably looking half a dozen, maybe ten. Big envelopes filled with cash. There's going to be a lot of worried people in the SNP right at the moment. Um, and rightly so. Rightly so. They deserve to be worried. Because this is just blatant corruption in public office. That is actually undoubtedly a jail offence. You're sitting there taking big cash bribes. People have gone, politicians have gone to prison for this. So uh, yeah, they will be very, very worried. And I think it is going to be a case of who goes to the police first to cut the deal and drop them all in it. Um, there could this, <laughs> this could be the end. This could actually be the end of the SNP. If this comes out, the revelations of the corruption and then half a dozen of them are all of a sudden, poof. Away they go to jail. Oh dear. Oh, I'd be ever so sorry to see it go, sir. Ever so sorry, sir. <laughs> I'm going to stop now. Thank you very much for what. Honestly, though, you couldn't you couldn't make it up, could you? But anyway, um, I, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you do like the program, if you do like the channel, do please hit the subscribe button, uh, like, leave a like, leave a comment, please share the video. And until next time, I really must stop laughing. Until next time. <laughs> Stop it. Stop laughing. Until next time, stay safe, stay well, and whatever happens, don't vote SNP. Or if you do, make sure you get a, a cash filled envelope first. Might as well get paid for it. Bye.